praise God, praise God, praise God this morning on this beautiful Friday morning. This is Warning Friday. Yes, it is warning you from the tricks and the traps that the devil may have set up for you. This ain't me bashing you. I'm just giving you a warning. I'm just the messenger to give you the warning to let you know that it is dark out there now. This ain't the time to be visiting nobody. This ain't really the time to be dating nobody. This ain't even the time to be looking for no wife. This is the time to be looking up to the heavens and heavens and asking God to heal our land, my God, because we're fighting against something that we never will win if we trying to do it with these. It ain't going to happen if you're trying to do it with a gun, if you're trying to do it with a knife, if you're trying to do it with chaos and arguing and fight and backbiting and stealing. That is not the way we're going to win and get us out of this uh, serious situation that we have right now going on with this world. So this is warning Friday. I'm warning you against unprotected sex. Wrap up. I don't care if you have to put aluminum foil around your body. You need to wrap up so you don't have no children. And I think sisters, all sisters, I ain't talking about black sisters, I'm talking about all sisters, protect yourself. You're the one that have to have a baby. Let's don't be stupid. If you don't want no baby, take the thing. If you don't want no baby, the first thing to do is be absent. If you absent, that means you're not there. <laughs> Come on. You ain't even doing that. So if you're going to do it, which most people are, recover yourself. Young men, cover yourself. You don't need to have no baby at 19. It's too much. The life is too dark right now. We need to bring children in this world where we got whole parents. Come on, you've been dating for two years. You've been uh, a fiance for uh, three years. You know him. Y'all talked about personal things. Y'all looked at each other both in the eye and said, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're not going to be talking about, I'm putting you out. Get out of here. Them some of the things when you get married, and some words, married people, you cannot take back. So you cannot be putting people out. And you cannot be fighting and arguing all the time in front of them children. You're making chaos in that house. You know what you need? Some Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, he levels all that stuff out. I was into all that stuff. Manipulating women. Stealing out of Walmart. Doing drugs. Selling drugs. Writing bad checks. Come on, somebody. Changing tags on food prices and clothes. I was doing all that crazy stuff. When all I had to do is stop doing that, get some Jesus Christ and start doing positive. And he did what his Bible said. He would come make you come out like pure gold. The Hebrew boys was in the fire and the Bible said that they didn't even smell like smoke. Less on was they burnt, wasn't burned or nothing. So this is the way God do you if you seek him first. Let me read this in your hearing to let you know what we're wrestling with is not our family members. It's not your boss at your job. It's not your friend. It's not your co-worker. It's not the lady at Walmart. Come on. It's not your doctor. We're wrestling with things that's unseen and how we win, people. It's the only way we win for things unseen is deal in the spiritual realm so God himself, which is unseen, can see that we, un my God, that we are seeing him. If that makes sense. The things that's unseen cannot be fought with our fist, gun, or knife. You have to go in the spiritual realm of Jesus Christ and go up to the heavens of heaven and say, Lord, I don't know what's going on. But I'm asking you to take care of us like you've always done. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep on pushing to reach people. And I'm going to have faith that you're going to take care of us, God. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're a drug dealer or a priest of a local church. You need to pray. I don't care if you walked the street as a prostitute last night or just came out of Bible study. You need to pray. I don't care if you're an atheist, green with antennas. We need to pray so God can heal our land. Let me read this in your hearing. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood. There I go. Enemies, but against evil rulers, here we go, evil rulers and authority of the unseen world, 
against mighty powers in the dark world. This is where we are. And against evil spirits in the heavenly places. So you have to go spiritual for unseen things, not fleshly. I remember a little story I'll tell you before we get I get off here. Uh, uh, when me and my wife had first got married in about the first three or four years, I start being a minister and, and I was an elder. And all of a sudden one night we were asleep, we was keeping one of uh, her sister's children. Uh, I think it was Mike Kayla's, he was very little. Uh, and we heard some hit the floor, boom. It seemed like it ran across the, the, uh, the room. So I got up, got my toy out of the drawer and we went looking around the corner. Now she was on the Lord, just imagine. I'm looking around the corner, she looking around the corner. And we walked the house, we didn't see nothing. And then she said, well, let's pray. And she went in the front door and opened the screen, the front door, and, and I, I'm in the other room. You don't, you don't run nothing in this house. I run this house. You don't pay no bills here. I pay the bills in this house. Stupid spirit, get up out of this house. And the wife came in there and said, honey, honey, you don't, you don't do it like that. You, you, you in your flesh, you have to go in the spirit and the spirit is quiet in your secret place. You know what I mean? So I was, I was reacting, you know, like I was fighting some dude, but she said, you don't can't, you, you can't, God don't hear you like that. Get out of my house, this is my house. You you don't you don't be running nothing. And now that I have got older and I go back and tell that story, I'm thinking, I sort of do that now though. As I'm always looking for you, devil. You don't scare me. And you never did scare me. And I want you to take your hands off of people that I love. I know that. Because I'm looking for you. And I know God Himself, Jesus Christ, if you he don't want you to hurt him. You can't do it like he told Job. He told the devil, he said, you could, you could touch his stuff. You could touch his body, but you can't kill him. That good news? See, Jesus have, God himself have authority whether he, he gonna call the last number. So for you out there that's worrying about your diagnose and what you're going through, trust in God. He got your number. No matter what the doctors say, you have faith. So if that makes sense, you cannot fight this with flesh and blood. I can't hit the devil like I would like to hit him. But I can put up a prayer that Jesus Christ protect me from all evil things. And then Jesus Christ, my God, with his archangels, would encamp around me. And your archangel could be your lost mother that you lost. It could be your wife. It could be your husband. It could be your child. Come on. It could be your aunt and your uncle that's hovering over you. But I'm asking you right now. I'm asking you right now. It's amazing when I was a big drug dealer, that uh, ex-drug dealer, how people would follow me when I would tell them where I had the good dope or where to go get the good dope. They would follow me. They would go or they would come where I was. I'm asking you, come where I am right now. Come on. You 45. You've been fighting with them drugs, backbiting, arguing, cussing, chaos. Not happy where you live. Not happy with your car. Not happy with your job. Look straight ahead. Not happy with your husband or wife. Husband or wife, look straight ahead. Don't let, look like you don't know what I'm talking about. Look crazy. Come on. You've been going through the same thing year after year. It's time for a change. Jesus Christ is reaching his hand out for you right now. He said, open the door and I'll come in. He can't come in if you won't open your door. He's out there knocking. With this word of God, I'm knocking. Do you hear him knocking? He can't come in unless you open the door. I love you all on this morning Friday. Take care of yourself. No road rage is dark. People are snapping for no reason.
go to Walmart and different stores. You can't let your children go over here and you go over there. You can't let your wife go there and your husband go there. You all have to get around that cart and get ready. Not nobody operating in fear, but I always have it in the back of my mind. Something could jump off on this warning Friday. And I warn you to take heed in the warning. I love you all. Be blessed. Have a beautiful day.